Before we get started with today's video, I do have a quick announcement, and that is I do have a secondary channel where I upload gaming videos. Currently, we are playing a Minecraft on this channel. There will be a link in the description to check it out. So if you guys want to see me more often, because it is gaming videos, they're a little bit easier to edit and stuff. So if you want to see me often, me playing games, make sure to go into the link in the description. This will take you to this channel, youtube.com slash Alesh. Come here. This is not a brand new channel. I actually have 6,000 followers and almost a million views in less than 100 videos. So this channel has been doing pretty well, but I need your help. So all my followers here here who are loyal or maybe new followers make sure to go to the description click on the link give it a subscribe as well as the bell icon and stay tuned to this channels basically i do micro videos for now uh, but i did do some other videos back in the day but micro videos for now if you want to enjoy this make sure to go in the description follow it thank you guys so much what is going on guys welcome back to another discord.js tutorial Today, we're going to be coding a Discord bot that randomly sends Google images to a text channel. This is a pretty cool bot. I have tested this bot before, and I'm currently using it for a project that I'm currently doing, and I'll kind of like sneak peek it pretty soon at the end of the video. But let's actually get started. Let's not do much talking. If you're new to this channel, this is a channel where I code multiple different Discord bots. So if you want me to code a specific bot, make sure to go in the comments and let me know. I do read the comments. There's a lot of comments recently, but I do read them, most of them, uh, that have any kind of recommendations of what videos I should do next. So right now we're going to do a bot that randomly sends a Google message or a Google image into the text channel. The way I've been using this bot currently is in a project that I'm currently creating where I'm creating a cursed cursed server, a cursed Discord server where everything's going to be completely weird and whack. And it's currently in development. I literally just started today because I just came up with the idea. So right now, all it does is pretty much sends a cursed image on the, you know, whatever text channel you're on. And it just randomly sends a cursed image. Like, look at this. It's actually pretty... Pretty creepy. So it randomly sends an image of Google. We're going to use a different search engine that gets its results from Google, but it is Google Images. So let's go ahead and get started. There are two things you're going to need to pretty much get started with this tutorial. First things is you're going to need two different uh, NPN packages. So I'll show you how to install those. And the second thing is you're going to have to watch my last two videos. Not the last two videos, but two videos. The basics video where it goes over how to set everything up. And the commands video basically shows you how to create a command. Uh, once you watch those two videos, then make sure to come back up here and continue doing this. If you do know how to code a Discord bot already, then go ahead and enjoy the episode. So we need two things. We need two packages. And we're going to open our terminal here. The first package we're going to need is Churio. So we're going to do npn install dash dash save. Uh, if we do this, there you go, save. And we're going to do Churio like that. And this is going to install Churio. This is going to allow us to basically get the image in the format we want. So make sure to install Churio. And then the second thing we're going to need is uh, your request. So the request package. We're going to do npn install dash dash save and then request so those are the two packages make sure you put them in your terminal and import them uh, it's very simple uh, if you already have you know the first video down the basics video you should be able to do this so those are the two packages now we're gonna have to pretty much request or require those two packages in the index.js file so we're gonna do const cheerio equals require and it's gonna be cheerio right and then we're going to do one more, which is just const request, which is going to require request. And that's how we get the request package and the, you know, Churio package into this Discord bot that we're creating here. Another quick thing, I'm actually going to have the code in the description because this might get a little bit difficult and it's probably probably going to be easier for me to copy some things from my second monitor here that I already wrote everything else. So we come down here into our you know command we're going to have the command of image so when someone sends the command image we want to do pretty much anything that's in here so we actually have to create a different function so we can kind of set everything up in a better way we're going to create a function called the message 
actually, no, sorry, a function called image, and we're actually gonna pass in message. And this I should not be capitalized. There we go. So image. So this is a function that we have not created. So let's go ahead and create the function. Let's go outside of the bot.on event here and create the function of image. So we're gonna do function image. And we're going to pass in the image, the same thing up here. So make sure you do this. And in here, we are just going to open it up. And that is how we create the function. Now we can actually add stuff to our function. The first thing we're going to add is a variable that is mostly like an object that we're going to add the URL, the method, which is get and the headers. And also we're going to use the dogpile.com results instead of the Google results because it's a little bit easier and it does work a little bit better when you're using this method. You could use the regular Google search results and it's just gonna be a little harder. You're gonna to have to find out where you can get that URL, but forget that. Let's just go ahead and do the dogpile. If you guys want to check the website about dogpile, I'll have a link in the description. So come down here. We're actually just going to copy this because it's going to take me some time to type if I you know if I type it back all over again. So again, there'll be a source pin in the description with all the code. You don't necessarily have to type everything throughout the video. So we have a variable, which is pretty much an object called options where we get the URL, which is results.dogpile.com slash all this. And then the plus as well as the type of image you want to randomize. So for the bots that I did that I showed you guys at the beginning, I randomized the cursed image. So what this does is it goes to this search engine and it searches for cursed images and it's going to get it and you make sure you have these headers on. It's going to get everything. It's a get method. Uh, so let's say you want to randomize something like, let's say gaming or, or whatever. Let's actually do something. What's popular right now? Minecraft, right? So if you want to randomize Minecraft images you would put in minecraft here there will be another video probably going coming up pretty soon where i'm going to explain to you how this can be inputted by the you know, whoever sent the message so you could create something like this where instead of doing image and it just randomly sends a minecraft image a member can do image and then type the image they want to randomize so something like let's say gaming so that will get inputted right here, but that will be for a later video that I have in mind. So right now you have to input yourself what kind of image you want to randomize. So we're doing Minecraft here. All right. Next thing is we get to get the request. So we are going to copy this because it's going to be much easier. Once again, there's be a source pin in the description. So, um, and I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this completely wrong. Am I? Actually, I'm just going to copy the whole thing and explain it. So I'm copying everything. This is the main part of this entire video. Let me actually just press some spaces so I can pretty much concentrate on this. So inside the function, we have a request, and this is a method that we get with the request up here that we imported with NPM. So we request. Then we have options that just gets the options here. And then we're creating a, a function with an error, with a response and with the response body. Then we're error checking. This is very important. If we do get an error, we want to pretty much exit out of this. We don't want to continue further. So if error, just return and I'll leave this uh, method here and we'll continue on. Then we got Cheerio.load response body. The response body is what we're getting back from this up here, the method get. So that's where we're going to get. So we just added this money sign. You can really do anything. Uh, equals Turio.load. That is another function, another method where uh, it just loads that request we just got. Then we're going to do var links and links. If I have correctly, if links, sorry, we're sorry. We're, I'm kind of getting lost here. Var links is a variable that we're creating and make sure you have this because this image a link it, it, it's complicated for me to talk about it but just make sure you have this right here uh this is part of cheerio and it's a must-have because we want to get an image not something else then we're creating another variable called urls and this is basically an array what this is going to do is going to get every single url of an image of that response that we got. So for example, if we go into Google and we type Minecraft and a bunch of images come out uh, or come up, 
it's going to pretty much put all those images into an array, which is something that we can use. And again, this is pretty complicated. So it's just var URLs, new array. Then we got the links on length, then we fill it, then we do a map. Um, and then we just do the href stuff here. So very complicated, but we're putting everything that we just got, all the results, all the images into an array. Then we are console logging the URLs because we want to see every single URL that we were able to obtain uh, throughout this method. And also, we are also checking that if there are no URLs, we're returning. This is a little bit more of an error checking just in case something happens. If we didn't get any URLs, we want to exit out. And the final thing is the sent result. So this is the final part. I know this video is kind of quickly, but this is the final part of this entire tutorial. And all we're doing is we are randomizing the links that we got from the array. And we are actually just sending it. Let me actually delete this because this was part of something else. So it's message channel that send URLs, which is again the you know the array here, and you could actually do something like zero, and what that would do is send the first image of that array. Now what this would do is if we actually load it up, so uh, go to console, let's clear everything, no space dots, and let's run our bot. If we go to Discord and we type image, it's gonna send a Minecraft image, right? But it's going to save the same Minecraft image over and over and over because it's searching on the search engine, the you know Minecraft images, but we're only sending the first image of the array. So it's going to send the same image over and over and over. So the way we send a random image is we type this code here, math the floor. This is the basic, the, the basic JavaScript algorithm you can say of random which is math the floor and then math the random times the urls length uh, so if you do this now and we reload our bot here so let's just load it again then we come out here again oh that's something else and now we do image now it should send random images so instead of the castle here it send the wither with some people and image so it's going to do another one different. It might repeat the same if we just got lucky and it's the same image. Um, but as you can see, it's just sending random stuff. And if you change what it's going to send or what it's going to search for. So if you come up here and instead of Minecraft, you want to do dogs or something. Then what this is going to do is if we clear this out again. So it's not hard to read. Run the bot one more time. And go into Discord image can't type image for some reason it's gonna start sending dog images instead of minecraft um so here we go it might take some time because sometimes the images are a bit too big so it has to do its job there we go and it's gonna keep sending dog images over and over and over randomly and this is again this is a search engine called if you come up here uh dogpile.com which gets its results from google so we're not directly going from the google search but we are getting google images um, so let's try one more time just to show you. Let's do something stupid and random like uh, food. That is the most basic thing ever. All right. Just to show you guys, it actually works. Let's run the bot one more time. There you go. Discord image. And it's going to send something food, which that actually looks very good. Let's do one more time. Food. Blah, 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 blah. All right. We did it. So that is how you send random images to a Discord channel next episode because there are going to be two parts to this which next episode might be tomorrow uh, i'm actually going to record it back to back we're going to add it so the person who sends the message can choose what type of random image they're going to get so if the person wants to do image food they'll get a random image whatever image so if they want to do image minecraft it's going to get a image of minecraft now right now we're not checking for a second argument so it's always going to send you know an image of a food um but later on we'll do this next episode make sure to watch out for it and that is it for this tutorial before i end off tutorial i know i already had this at the beginning of the video but make sure to go in the description and follow this channel i am really advertising this so i'm really going ham but i really need you guys' help um i am struggling a little bit with this channel since i'm a little bit more personal in this channel than this one this channel right here my gaming channel i'm not as personal to you guys as the code lion channel that i have right now 
I want to say I'm kind of struggling a little bit because I used to upload videos from, I think, Albion Online. It's a different game, and it got very popular, so my channel started to grow. It again, got very boring, and I'm switching to Minecraft, something more friendly, something that I really do enjoy, and that's pretty much what I'm doing, and I'm starting to lose a little bit of attention, so if I'm losing attention, now it's time to advertise this channel on this channel. So once again, if you guys really want to help me out, go in the description below and make sure to follow. Again, I upload pretty much daily and it's gonna be fun for you guys to pretty much, you know, come and watch me. And if I'm not uploading on this channel, you guys can pretty much message me on this other channel and say, hey dude, what is wrong with you? Keep uploading on Club Lion. We miss you. All that jazz. All right. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, comment below any suggestions for upcoming Discord.js videos. With that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.